Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. I'll put a little bit down that you are on this blue planet right here at this very moment. How did I know? I don't know. You'll have to subscribe to figure that out. Anyways, uh, today we're going to be testing whether or not we can get two Earths into a binary orbit of each other while orbiting the sun. Can we, can we pull off that much magic? And uh, what will the results be from doing that? Will we have any like clear clear cut consequences. I don't believe in consequences for my actions, but you know, if, if it was going to happen at some point, it would probably be right about now. Oh. Oh, wow. Not only did that work, that doesn't seem to have done anything terrible. Seems to be pretty normal, if I dare say so myself. Uh, real Earth is... Uh, 13.9 degrees and 13.9... Wow! They're just doing their thing. I expected this to be more catastrophic. I thought it would break the orbit or something. Nope. Nope. Just binary Earths. Chillin', staying at least six feet apart due to Corona. Uh, that... That's kind of impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's see the cooler effects. Like, what does it look like on the surface when this giant Earth goes overhead? I mean, from Earth, you'll be able to see Earth. Should be a little bit intense. Where is it? Oh my god! There it is! Wow, that is, that is quite the sight. That is the great greatest moon of all time. Oh, Vera goes around again. Wait, is it going around as quick? Oh, no. Oh, it's slightly off. Now if we go around this way, we should see it again, shouldn't we? Any second now? Where is Earth? Well, I mean, we're on Earth, but where's the other Earth? Is it, uh, excuse me? Oh, there it is! Whee! But we're rotating the same direction as it's going, so it stays in the sky for a long time. Wow. That is quite the view. We just have Earth and Earth. This would cause... Imagine if you looked into the sky and there's just another Earth. The conspiracy theories, they would be so intense. Alright. And we had a third... Can we add a third Earth without too many? What if we give one of them a moon? I mean, that shouldn't be too crazy. We just make sure that the moon is far enough away that it can kind of treat both Earths as its central point. All right. Moon. How's it going? It's kind of having trouble deciding which Earth to orbit. It's kind of being left behind. No! Oh, that's depressing. The moon was just completely abandoned. Wow. Yeah, what if we make it closer? This is not going to end well, but if we do this, at least the moon will know which Earth it belongs to. Oh? Ah, uh, it's kind of, it's getting a little wobbly. It's getting pulled towards the other Earth. This is not going to last long. I have a very, a very strong feeling that this is going to get messed up. But for now, it actually seems kind of stable. Um, maybe it won't get messed up. Let's give this Earth a moon as well. I mean, that's much closer than the moon. Oh no, rush limit. Oh, oh no. Oh god, I went way too close. It's getting ripped apart and that's going to cause major damage to Earth if I don't step in. Delete all of the little asteroids I just accidentally created. Oh boy, that was almost bad. I hate it when I almost destroy the world accidentally. Alright, let's do this again, a little bit further away this time. There we go, that should be fine. Oh, the damage has already been done from the other moon. Ah, uh, where is it this one? Is this one getting ripped apart? I don't think so. No. Oops, yeah. Looks like I uh, was a little bit too late with the other one. 
Now the interesting thing is these Earths are both interacting with each other's moons, which means at some point they should get thrown off balance. I mean, at least get too close. No? Really? Does this work? I'm, I'm absolutely stunned. I did not expect this to be working so well. Like, th ah! When you forget the Earth is constantly moving. Like, this is not something you expect to see every day. Look at that choreography. That is so neat. We, we just have two Earths, each with their own moon, orbiting each other while orbiting the sun. That is... I've never done this before. All right. I'm really curious as to how far we can push this. Can I give them each a second moon? Or is that pushing it too far? Here they go. Oh, no, you can't. Did you see that? Oh, wow. It just got completely stolen by the other Earth. And it smacked straight into it. Oh, man. This moon seems to be confused as to who to follow now as well. It's gonna crash into the other moon. No, another one's gonna hit the same Earth. Oh man, that Earth. Oh no, this moon's fallen too close and it's being ripped apart. Wow, that single Earth just had such a bad day and the other one is just running laps around it. Oh, oh, particles from the uh, collision on the other Earth are starting to hit this one. And it's moon. Wow. Yeah, once once you destroy the balance, it falls apart very quickly. Alright, let's see if they can recover. I mean, there's still a little bit of damage being done, but not the end of the world. Well, I mean, it is the end of the world, but not the end of Earth. It's just the end of Earth as we know it. Wow. There's a lot of damage being done. This is kind of just that little moon is being ripped apart and it's just flinging, flinging objects at this earth. It's like a, like an attack. It's so tiny now. How is it still surviving? Look at it just being ripped apart. Damn. All right. Well, you know what we can fix it with? We'll just add another moon. There we go. New moon friend. Well, another. I mean, the planets have not been destroyed, so clearly it's not that bad. Oh, it, that one just got flung. That one just got flung directly at the other Earth. Oh no, this isn't going to be good. This is going to be quite violent. Oh no! Oh damn! Oh, that one hit directly. That's gonna mess with its orbit and everything. That was a really harsh hit. Is there another one coming? No! Oh! Oh man, all three! Oh, that's just bad luck. But the two Earths are still orbiting each other just fine. Even if they keep murdering each other with weapons of mass destruction, does it really matter? If we put a bunch of moons like this. I'm just curious. Oh! Huh. Interesting. So it looks like if you put a moon close by- oh no, it flung that one at it. They get really close together at one point in their orbits. Yeah. You put it like halfway between, it almost always will hit- oh, that one got flung! Damn! Well, kids, this is why Earth isn't in a binary orbit, because it would end with us being dead, which means that we wouldn't be born, which means that that couldn't have happened. Fun fact. Alright, now the real question is, can we add a third Earth to the mix? Wait. Oh, no! Oh, this one is still orbiting that one. Oh, nice. They're just good friends. Oh, and now they're... Oh, no! Oh, no, they're still orbiting each other. Look at that. Very far away and in a weird way, but, huh. All right. I, I guess everything's fine in the end. Well, thank you all for watching. 
leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Uh, channel memberships are open. You should totally become a member of the channel because that is super exciting. Look at this face. Does this not look super exciting to you? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>